Ghana's inflation slowed to 7.8% in January to begin 2020. Now, this is the lowest in three months, which is still within uh, the government's medium-term target of band of 8 plus or minus 2%. The relative change between these two periods, that is the 111.6 and the 110.0, gives us a monthly inflationary rate of 1.4%. And it's worth indicating that this 1.4% is the highest month-on-month -month inflation since we rebased CPI last year. Inflation for November 2019 was 8.2%, while that of December was 7.9%. This year began with a slowed inflation of 7.8 percent. December 2018, as against December 2019, the year-on-year -year inflation as released in January this year was 7.9. And on a year-on-year basis, that is January 2019 relative to January 2020, is 7.8 percent. This means that the general price levels have increased by 7.8 percent higher than the prices that we recorded in January 2019. Inflation rate for imported goods was 5.8 percent, while that of local goods was 8.7 percent on the average. Since November last year, inflation rate for locally produced items has been higher than that of imported items. Since locally produced items took over imported items, the difference between these two sources of um, items have widened and this is what we see happening in January 2020. So to make an argument from an exchange rate perspective in terms of relative stability, we think that is one of the reasons why imported items have relatively stabilized with locally produced items inching up to 8.7%. CPI measures changes in the price of a fixed basket of goods and services purchased by households.